American Museum of Natural History in association with the California Academy of Sciences and GoTo Corporation. The audio and visual experience you're about to enjoy requires total darkness and silence. Please turn off all electronic devices and refrain from using them during the show as it is not permitted to film or take pictures. Please note that if you must leave during the show, you'll not be allowed to enter the theater. The doors do lock automatically behind you as you exit. Also note the location of emergency exits. The lights will be turned off once the show starts. There is a door that you use to enter the theater and one straight across which will be the exit in the show. Now, so ready, settle back and go for lunch.
as they probed deeper and located many more galaxies, the astronomers were startled to see that the light from distant galaxies was always stretched out to longer, redder wavelengths, signifying that they were all moving away from us. They found that the more distant a galaxy, the faster it's moving. Cosmic space is constantly stretching, carrying the galaxies with it. But there's no center to the universe. An observer in this galaxy would see the same evidence of cosmic expansion as we do. So would observers in that one there. Wherever you are, it looks as if you're at the center and everyone else is speeding away. As the universe expands, it cools, its energy thinning out across a growing volume of space. The overall temperature of the cosmos today is only three degrees above the coldest possible temperature, absolute zero. But if we ran time backward, energy would be compressed into a shrinking volume of space, and the universe would get hotter. Realizing this, a few scientists calculated that the entire universe must have once been hotter than the sun. Skeptics ridiculed the idea, naming it the Big Bang Theory. two astronomers at Bell Labs in New Jersey started testing a horn-shaped radio antenna. They wanted to detect the natural radio waves produced by gas clouds in space. Instead, they encountered something they couldn't explain. Low-level energy coming evenly from all directions in the sky. Without realizing it, they had made one of the most profound discoveries in human history. Light from the Big Bang itself, released when the universe was only 380,000 years old, less than one hundredth of one percent of its current age. Evidence of the Big Bang was written all across the sky, in the glow of what is now called the cosmic background radiation. Satellites have since mapped the cosmic background radiation in detail, revealing how matter and energy were distributed in the infant universe. These spheres 
mark distances from Earth in light years. When we observe galaxies billions of light years from Earth, we see them as they looked billions of years ago. We're flying through a three-dimensional atlas of millions of galaxies. The gaps are regions we have yet to map. Beyond every galaxy we could ever observe, farthest away in space and furthest back in time, the cosmic background radiation marks the visible edge of our observable universe. of what happened even earlier in cosmic history can be found right in our own neighborhood. In 1995, NASA's Galileo spacecraft released a probe to study the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. Scientists had calculated that the simplest atoms were forged during the first minutes of the Big Bang. One of them, heavy hydrogen, is destroyed inside stars, so it shouldn't become ever rarer as the universe evolved. Unlike Earth, Jupiter acts as a cold storage locker preserving samples of the materials from which the solar system formed more than four billion years ago. By analyzing the giant planet's atmosphere, scientists could check how much heavy hydrogen existed back then. Observations of the cosmic background radiation had established that the universe was once hotter than the surface of the sun. Galileo's audacious exploration of Jupiter found enough heavy hydrogen to confirm that during the first minutes of the Big Bang, the entire universe was hotter than the center of the sun. Hot enough to forge simple atoms. But while scientists were piecing together the history of atoms, evidence emerged that most of the matter in the universe isn't made of atoms at all. The universe contains clusters of galaxies, like this one. Each cluster home to trillions.